looking at me, and you can see that I'm black, and I've read these statistics that the unemployment in the black community is twice as high in the, in, the, in the white community, and you can look at me and see that I'm a black male, and I read stories every day that black men can't make it in America, that most of us are in jail or not doing. Are you telling me there's hope for me? Let me tell you one thing about the computer field. The boss doesn't care as long as his work gets done, and it's been the most transparent field for me because I've traveled all over the world. Of course, when they see me, they say, oh, a black female at ABC where I was. I went into this production center to computerize them. They said, a woman? And they didn't I think they said, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, once they were working, um, they would one else. Can you do the job? Can you computerize? Can you say, and I tell you, when you can do this, you do have a future. Black, white, you are Protestant. Doesn't matter as long as you know how to use technology. Ms. Oye, you use the technology to do what? Okay, well, actually, just uh, um, backtracking a bit on how we got started, I started as a visual artist years ago and uh, sort of segued into advertising and then film and video and ended up in the music industry. And uh, at this particular time, it was within the last seven years, the whole aspect of computing within the entertainment industry, except for the film and video, and it wasn't actually um, that much of uh, the curriculum. However, toward my last few years, two things happened. One was I became frustrated with the limitation of the marketing in the record industry and did approach um, the uh, company that I was working for to see what kind of uh, opportunities were available in video and things were on the move. Hollywood at that time had started to get more involved with interactive television. That's when the theory was coming out that there were going to be 100 or 500 channels for television stations. So at that point, I had no experience on computers and almost didn't have an interest because it was a technological um, uh, arena. I felt a little bit of a phobia in terms of all of the DOS programs that had originally come out. But um, interestingly enough, in making the decision, because I felt limited, I felt that glass ceiling, I felt as though there was something else on the horizon for me, I didn't quite know what. I made the decision to leave the record industry. What were you doing? Uh, I was doing marketing. I was um, a director of marketing and product management um, for a major label, and my focus was on the jazz and progressive music, which also entailed uh, world music. And oftentimes in that arena, since it is specialized music, you don't often get the big bucks, you know, the millions of dollars to place the ads and to have the videos made. So we had to be innovative, we had to be creative, and we had to come up with new ways to get our artists seen and heard. Um, there was uh, some talk about um, Sony going online, Warner's going online toward the last couple of years. That was 93 and 94. I left mid-94. When I left, my intent was to get more involved with video again and possibly do a few documentaries on some jazz artists. In the back of my mind, thinking that this is like been there, done that scenario. You know, what is new? Uh, what is next? I bought a computer. I went online uh, and I began just playing around, going to chat rooms. I began looking at the different uh, forums um, in business areas, working at home because I decided that I was going to build a business from home. At that point, it became a 10-hour um, scenario. I mean, all my friends would try to reach me, and there I would be plucking away at my computer. But in the meantime, what That's what the woman does in the movie, Nick. <laughs> It's um, what we will be able to do, not even two or three years from now, what we are going to be able to do in just a year or two will be to get on our computer and download an interactive television program, possibly direct it ourselves, walk through it, create the beginning, create the middle and end, and seriously, um, in terms of even non-entertainment wise, but educationally wise, think of it for children. Think of the whole aspect of kids being able to create their own worlds. Now,